Hidden deep within the heart of Los Angeles stands Shriners Hospital for Crippled Children. This hospital is one of many to have implemented a medical innovation known as telemedicine. Shriners Hospital telemedicine coordinator Evelyn Castellanos explains telemedicine and the benefits that come along with it. The program is um, to assist kids who are foreign, foreign kids who cannot come to their appointments at the hospital, uh, get a consultation over the screen. This is how telemedicine works. A doctor uses a high-definition camera to closely examine and diagnose a patient. Los Angeles has one of few Shriners hospitals that use telemedicine. Charlie Portillo, a scoliosis patient, benefited from telemedicine services. It was, it was, it was something unbelievable, which they can see me through a television crystal clear and I could see them as well, so I wouldn't have to go to where they were located but they can see me through my home or through where I was. Although telemedicine has helped many, it still cannot replace human touch or the warmth of a doctor's hand. Those of us who use telemedicine regularly understand its limits. So I can't assess the strength of a patient's hand or the warmth of it or the quality of their skin. However, telemedicine remains immensely popular. Overall, we are the number one in the state users of telehealth. Nearly 1,000 hospitals throughout the United States have integrated telemedicine in the last few years. It is estimated that by the year 2020, those numbers will double. In Los Angeles, Jessica Hernandez for Valley News.